hey y'all hey today's video is my 2021 patio makeover and y'all it has been a long time coming this patio or aka deck i don't know what you want to call it it has been through some things it has seen a lot of inclement weather and um yeah it, it's just needing um a helping hand so today we are going to give it a makeover and i hope you enjoy it so let's get into it So I really wanted to show you guys some before pictures of it being built back in 2019 for my Mother's Day gift and that was us, just the three of us before Logan came along. And here is what it is looking like as of, well, a few days ago I would say. It's been maybe two weeks um, now and yeah, it, it was a hot mess. Um, the deck was molding and all that jazz. So. We just needed to show it some love and attention a little TLC, much like anything else that you have at your home and you're not taking care of it, it can turn out looking like this um, a little bit uncared for. So we just went ahead and did some grooming. As you can see, there was some weeds here and there was some mold growing around the little outdoor rug for the fire pit. So I had Sugarfoot take his weed eater to the under, um, underneath the deck so that we can minimize the growth that's coming through the little wood boards or whatever so yeah he did his part and then we took everything off of the deck and I'm showing you guys how the plastic pieces look the, the Adirondack chairs um, the pool splash pad for uh, Lucas and Logan and their little swing set. Um, this was um, Lucas's little birthday gift when he turned two. I think he turned two and he got this for his birthday. But yeah, sitting outside in the weather, it has just taken a beating and it's very moldy and everything is dirty. So I'm gonna clean up everything with some super clean. And I just really love that product. Um, I am just putting it in the water and just diluting it a little bit so that it's not as harsh um, on my hands this time around and I did um, previously previously spray all of the pieces with it as well keeping with the theme of cleaning all of the surfaces I did request that Sugarfoot please <laughs> pressure wash our deck and so um, we were fortunate enough to borrow this from our neighbor and he gave it a good pressure wash he did um, the the deck boards as well as the railings and yeah i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after he finished his whole process here which i can't remember how long it took him but i'm just grateful that he did it and it looks a little bit like it did in the beginning when it was built it it just it's looking a whole lot more vibrant all of the mold is now gone and i have a clean slate as far as refreshing this space and um you will get a little peek of my little flowers that i wanted to share with you guys in case you are curious as to how that all came to be i did find the black pot at lowe's and it is a plastic so it's really lightweight it's by ellen and roth and i really love it i'll have it linked if i can find it um in the description box below and i just had him put three holes in it to just to release some of the water as the plant gets rained on or watered just so it doesn't get dehydrated but um i'm not a plant mom i really don't know what i'm doing but i do like to uh i don't know i just like to have greenery in my life i'm trying to be a little bit more mature but anyway moving on to the reason why i had to clean my chairs i am spray painting them with this krylon satin black paint and y'all you don't always have to buy you can diy and so i couldn't find the black chairs anyway so i already knew i was gonna have to spray paint them but i don't mind that kind of stuff y'all i always i'm always busy doing something but anyway I sprayed it I spray painted them black and they look so good I'm not gonna show you the finished product right here because I'm also gonna be spray painting the the um, dome for our fire pit because it too was rusty and it just needed to be refreshed because it looked a little bit bad as you can see so moving on to the 
major change of this deck me painting the railings i did find this paint at the lowe's and it is ultra white just the the whitest white i could get as far as exterior paint and i did have um some little rollers in this whole process but i didn't want to elongate that whole painting experience for you guys because i know sometimes it's just boring so yeah I didn't I'm not gonna show you guys a whole lot of painting but I am painting this over a five day period like I said like you've seen I do have children so I can't just spend a day or two on just painting and it just be done I wish I could have done that because y'all it was hot a lot of days that I was outside doing this but it's all fun and my kids will be outside enjoying some of the fun i never had them out there in the heat but later on in the afternoons they were always outside with me and like i said it did take me four to five days to get this whole railing done because i did put on two coats of paint this is what it is looking like after the first day this is what i was able to get accomplished that first evening and you guys are seeing the finished product after five days in two coats of paint and if you are looking very closely then you already see that i have a door now on the deck and my neighbor made this for me while he was also creating something for his own home and yeah we paid for the materials. I paid him for his labor, even though he didn't ask for anything. Um, yeah, it's just the right thing to do when somebody is willing to do something for you out of the kindness of your heart or their heart. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I did add a lock eventually to the door so that um, my kids were safe inside the deck when I am washing dishes or something like that. I can still see them through the door and the window, but I really wanted to ground the space for them as well. So I ordered this rug. I think it's a five by seven. Anyway, I'll have this link down in the description box as, um, as well as everything else that I have mentioned already in this video. But yeah, I just thought that it was appropriate because the space is so large and it's going to be really hot this summer and I just wanted something for my kids as far as making this outdoor space as cozy as possible for them as well because they live here too. And now we're going to be moving on to my little seating area and I needed something for that spot as well to give it just a little bit more warmth. I would say even though it's going to be hot as hell this summer, I already know it is. But anyway, I bought a um, four foot round rug for this space. And yeah, I'm going to be adding the chairs as well as a side table to this spot. And this is just a brief overview of what the two rugs look like and let me know down in the comments if you agree with the fact that i i did the right thing by buying these two rugs would you have omitted the large rectangular rug or do you like the look are you are you just waiting to see the finished product just let me know give this video a big thumbs up if you are enjoying what you are seeing so far but yeah let's just keep going in case anybody is wondering i did put two coats of paint on these chairs i went through three bottles of spray paint and they were five dollars a, a can of paint so yeah i, I spent fifteen dollars to resurface or refurbish these chairs if you want to call it that but yeah they look so good y'all i love those chairs painted black but anyway that is my little side table it's a tray table so the top actually lifts off and you can use it as a tray i think it was like 20 dollars on amazon but like i said i'll have everything linked in the description box below so make sure you are checking that out you guys okay so it looks really great right now but i am adding something else to the deck and that is going to be some solar lights and i really thought that we needed something to give it some ambiance when the sun goes down so yeah i found these on 
Amazon and yeah they did come with their own nails and anchors I think I'm saying that correctly but yeah you have the base and um, that is the solar part of it and you do have to remember to turn it on which I'll show you guys that and you just click the little acrylic um, part to it that's the what the light will be shown through and yeah I, I just love how simplistic they look and they are still so pretty but yeah like I say you have to turn them on you do have the option of white lights and multicolored lights so you can just pop that acrylic piece off and just flip that switch and you can change the look and the feel of your space so yeah it's they're very easy to assemble and um well they were they they are easy but I'm not gonna lie and and say that I didn't <laughs> fumble up one or two because you do have to place it in the face the right way but anyway we're all smart people here we can always figure it out but yeah i i think that i did the right thing by purchasing these so make sure you stay till the end so you can see what the deck looks like at night time but yeah this is how I have it set up. I am not a power tool young lady. So I do just have them placed there. And I think I'm just going to buy some of the um, Gorilla Tape and just take them down or command strips. But anyway, we also have a umbrella base right here because, duh, I had to get an umbrella for the babies. And myself too because I live here as well. But yes, this umbrella is so pretty I just wanted to wipe everything off with some fabuloso wipes just to make sure there's no residue on the chairs from all the spray painting and just sitting outside waiting to dry and yeah I found these at the Dollar General for a dollar and they smell so good so if you are lucky enough to find these in your local Dollar General make sure you get two because they smell that good So for the styling of the little side table, I just planted two succulents in this little um, pot that I found from the Lowe's and the tray, the little rattan tray is from Amazon. It'll be linked and the coasters are from the Dollar Tree and they are just so appropriate and really simple and the overall look is everything that I wanted and you can still put the coaster down and have plenty of room to have your drink there. So. The overall look is a whole vibe, but as cute as it is now, you know it's missing something, right? It's missing something. Throw pillows, and I found these on Target's website, and they are by Studio McGee, and I just loved them. I fell in love with the pillows before I knew what my whole space was gonna look like. The first two items that I bought for this deck was the pillows and the rugs, and that's all I knew and that's all I had for like the first week and then slowly but surely I started buying more stuff and then we actually started like the whole process of doing this makeover so yeah I always start first with my rugs and my throw pillows and then I just work my way around that so yeah right now I'm just figuring out do I like the stripes vertically or horizontally and I stuck with vertically but let me know in the comments which one you prefer or should I have just kept one vertically and one horizontally for I don't know but like I said I did go with the vertical look so this space is looking great yes it is and I do love the look of it with the umbrella and everything but it was still missing something some art and I had this piece from Kirkland's for two years now sitting in my garage and it was $11 it wasn't doing anything so I just decided to turn it into something I put the green frog tape around the edges just to protect the wood from the um, exterior paint that I will be using to paint these two pieces
So I will be using a foam roller as well as like an artist brush just to do the edges and the trim around um, the pieces of art here. And yeah, like I said, I am going to be using the exterior paint that I use for the railings because duh it's for the outside so yeah and i'm so glad i had a little bit left over and i did do a total of three coats of paint before i moved on to adding any of my additional pieces Moving on to the jute rope that I will be using as far as this um, DIY art is concerned. It is very hard to cut and I don't know if I'm actually using the proper tools for this. These are just some regular old kitchen scissors and yeah my hand hurt for a long time after this whole process of painting and cutting but anyway I will be um, laying them down with the Gorilla Glue and you have to have water to activate this glue so yeah I have water in a little spray bottle and I'm just going to be laying them down in the shape or the pattern that I think will look best as far as the both of them and I will have I'm going to have one up and one down I don't know if I'm explaining that right but if you seen the thumbnail you probably know exactly what I mean but yeah I just have it laid out so I can see it in my mind and make sure that I am enjoying what I am looking at so I'll just have that done and then I'm going to seal it with some Krylon uh, chalk paint sealer it's for indoor outdoor use so it should work out fine and we just recently had our first rain here since I put um, the outdoor artwork out and it held up very nicely I don't see any water damage or any water spots on it at all so yeah I, I definitely suggest you seal whatever it is that you put out outdoors. And here is the final look of this little sitting area. It's so cute. I really do think that I did the right thing by putting something in that negative space. It was just bringing the area down and now there's just so much more life there but yeah. I love it. If you like it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Good, but I also wanted you guys to remember what it was before you see the final reveal. This is what we were working with. This is what I was not sitting outside for. I was not enjoying my space. And I wanted to make our home, our dream home. I'm, I'm turning all the spaces that we can into functional spaces with beauty. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed because my next project I will not be sharing right now. Because I want you guys to come back. But anyway, I do have another project already in mind. So here is the final reveal. 
It looks really good. And if you are wondering where is my rug, I forgot to show you guys that, but I do have a rug in the the little um scatter rug underneath is from ikea and it was like eight bucks but anyway i'll have it linked down in the description box for you guys i really do hope that you enjoy spending this time with me today i hope you enjoyed the space and how everything turned out if you did please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below subscribe if you are new here and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss that upload because y'all I am ready to share with you guys. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video at 5 o'clock. Thank you so much for being here and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!